Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to the video of top 5 programming language for 2021. This year, I have collected data from my own personal website where I can see what languages students are preferring and where the trend is going on. Combined with little bit data from the GitHub, I am presenting you the top 5 programming language for 2021. Hey, I have a small request from you, so make sure I'll give you timestamp as well. Make sure you watch that small request and try to complete that. It's going to be super, super fun for this year. So let's start with the number one programming language for 2021. We're going to keep the number one programming language as JavaScript this year. And it was a very neck to neck competition with the number two contender. You obviously know that. But I have realized that the world is really, really moving fast in the world of JavaScript. I don't recommend to learn just JavaScript. If you are learning that, I'll link in the description section about my playlist. But also, you should spend a little bit more time in learning TypeScript. In the next year, I expect that TypeScript is going to get tremendous amount of support. And once you are done with learning JavaScript and TypeScript, make sure you learn at least one framework. My recommendation, go for ReactJS. Picking the language number two was not really that difficult. It's Python. And obviously, if you are under 22 of your age, chances are high that you are currently in love with this language and you swear to do everything in just language. No problem at all. This is one of the most fantastic language and easy to understand. But don't just learn Python. My recommendation is at least learn one more framework in Python. My recommendation, go for Django. You can explore more other libraries like Python machine learning and data science after that. But my recommendation, learn Python skill it, master it, and after that, learn at least one framework, go for Django. Picking up the third spot was a little bit tricky, but this year I'm going to take a leap of faith and I'm going to give the third spot to C++, a language which I personally love. It's fantastic, very powerful, and let me burst out the myth as well. These are languages. These are not dependencies which are going to depend on something else. You can learn C++ directly. This language contains all the functions, loops, variable, if and else in its own as well. So until unless the teacher is getting too lazy to explain them again, you can learn C++ directly too. And let me give you something more. C++ is an amazing, powerful language which is giving so much competition to Go and other programming language. Don't just learn C++ from some book which is published in 90s. Learn it something new and fresh. C++ 17 has so many features about memory management. There is so much in the concurrency which was updated in C++ 20. So make sure you don't learn just the outdated stuff. You learn everything new which is there which is given to you by C++ and explore this amazing paradigm which C++ can teach you. At spot number four, we're going to put up Java. Now, of course, there are some issues in the licensing of Java in the last couple of years, and there has been some noise around it. But we cannot avoid the fact that Java is so much deep in the IT industry and so much deeply penetrated roots that we cannot just say that it's gone. Poof, it's no longer existent. It is so much powerful of a programming language. My recommendation is that if you're learning Java, don't just learn it for the functions and classes. Make sure at least one framework, which is really powerful one, is into your mind as well. Try to explore more about the Spring and Spring Boot frameworks and libraries, and they're gonna give you so much more in this language. To still this date, there is so much of the demand for the Spring Boot that you'll be surprised to know that how deep its roots are. Now let's go ahead and move on to number five spot. So what it might be? Let me give you a little surprise here. At number five spot, I'm going to put up PHP. Love it, hate it, doesn't really matter. But the market share of this language alone on the entire internet is so high that if anybody is making any such top five or top 10 list and you're avoiding PHP, you are making a big mistake. PHP is still a dominant language, especially in the developing countries, where it is a tool for many people to do the business. And you and I might love a programming language or hate another one. But for a business person, it just is a tool to have its website up and running so that he can grab a business. Business. And tons and tons of developing countries are still dependent on PHP, putting up hundreds of hundreds of lines of codes of WordPress and Laravel code to make that possible. In the last year, PHP has got some great and brilliant updates. And still, the language, the ability of this language to run on a bare minimum configured server is like insanely amazing. And for such amount of work and such amount of cheap hardware on this language can run, it truly amazes me. And at number five, we're gonna put up PHP. 
Now, apart from that, I would like to mention two honorable mention of the language which were gaining their popularity, but they always get some high and then get some lows of that. Now, these are Go and C Sharp. Now, at one point, I thought that Go is going to overcome all the languages, even C++, but then C++ 20 came up and gave some fantastic updates. So it declined a little bit in the popularity there. So as of, as of now, I'm assuming that Go and C Sharp can pick up their pace probably any time in 2021, but they deserve their honorable mention here. Okay, remember I asked you that I'm gonna ask you for a small favor in this video, here is that at time. Now every time when somebody makes these kinds of video, there is always somebody in the comment section who totally disrespect the work and just try to put up a spoiler at the end or in the comment section. So this year I've already spoiled it by putting up the number one at the very first, but if you see somebody doing that, make sure you go in the comment section and just write a one single comment, which is wow, genius. Just write that and you're gonna realize that within a few months, it's gonna be so much amazing and so much fun to have. So if you see somebody putting out a spoiler in the comment section, just write under the comment section, wow, genius. Now let me know in the comment section, do you agree or disagree with my list? I am open for all of your comments in the comment section. And also make sure you visit learncodeonline.in where I put up a lot of my courses, new uh, technologies, crash courses, lots of free stuff, lots of paid stuff. A, a whole lot goes on at learncodeonline.in. I will leave a link in the description section. Make sure you check it out and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well because I'm gonna be keep on coming with so much amazing programming stuff and crash courses in this year as well. Let's go ahead and get started with the 2021. Top five programming language. This video is so much fun to make every single year. I really don't know why, but it is so much fun to make this video. Ahora te digo algo, okay? Yeah, escucha. Gente, yo soy fan de todo menos de gente con maldad. Ahora ser diferente es un delito en este lugar. Todos somos leyenda, pero por algo hay que empezar. Soy leyenda de Pekín, también en Hong Kong, en cualquier lugar. Tiene voce, tiene voce, quien eres tú para decir lo que es. Juego como Messi, te lo hiciste este partido y ya nadie nos quita. Vamos a la disco, ah. Uh. Matamos la pista, yeah. Aquí toda mi gente, sí. Somos pura leyenda, sí. 